welcome back and this is Zishan you are watching me on ZTech Media so recently we started this new channel called ZTech Media and it has grasped or managed to grasp a lot of subscribers in just a couple of months and we are expecting a huge volume coming up to our channel in the months to come however uh, yesterday we also launched our channel on Instagram and uh, I will give you the link or the username or the tag name by which you can search us on Instagram as well today's topic will be an interesting topic it is not that complicated something which is used every day uh, in the computing world uh, no matter what kind of technology industry it is or even if it is not a technology industry or a company or sector uh, information technology has become a very useful resource it has become a resource which is, which is a necessity so it is no longer being considered as a cost for organizations having said that every company has their own data centers if not they are outsourcing a data center all computing companies like Amazon or Google or IBM or Oracle no matter what kind of cloud company you have you have a virtual data center and let's say if you have a company and you are outsourcing the data center services from Amazon then Amazon will have uh, a physical data center out of which it will create a portion of virtual data center and provide it to your company so you will either have uh, a physical data center of your own or a cloud infrastructure so in either cases in data centers or in physical data centers there is nothing which you can do without a server so today's topic is about server so we are going to talk about what is a server how many different types of servers we have and what is its use so without wasting time let's keep it rolling so what is a server a server can be a software or a hardware so mostly it is a hardware or it's a computer which we call it as a server so what does a server do so the work of server is to consider request request coming from whom clients clients who are clients clients are certain computers trying to access information over the network so these clients send some request to the server and what server does is the work of server is to consider those requests and act upon those requests so what it does is accept those requests and respond to those requests which are requested by the clients we'll talk more about this so, just to name a couple of tasks or a couple of uh, work operations what a server do then sending or receiving emails and that particular server can be an email server or an exchange server other than that we have network servers then we have database servers then we have web servers so have you ever wondered when you are trying to search so many things on google every single day so what's happening there you become the client or the computer from which you are trying to search information becomes client and it goes all the way to the Google server in the Google's data center wherein Google have a lot of servers which I will show you in our video how a data center looks like so those servers are getting these requests which are searched by you sitting at your home or office or anywhere so what does what does that server do it accepts those requests which you are asking for and then respond to you so that's the purpose of server and is that all no, not at all because servers are more famously known for their intense calculation their ability to perform calculations simultaneously faster and they are very calculative when they respond to the request so there is an interesting thing about these servers you can have a server dedicated for just one purpose or you can have one server doing so many things at a time and it depends upon what kind of need or necessity you have in your data center or how big is your data center and what kind of workloads or operations you do on a daily basis we'll talk more about that but before that uh, I would like to discuss with you the servers 
has to be turned on constantly. They can never be turned off. The reason why? Because people like us will always be in need to search something on Google, whether it's 2 a.m. at night or 2 p.m. in the day. So there is no stopping to people like us who are trying to search stuff on Google or Facebook or Instagram. So whenever you try to do something on these portals, uh, the requests are going to the server. So if in case you turn off those servers, that's not a good idea because you will not get your request uh, with a response. Probably will see a blank page, 404.com. So that's why it's not a good idea to turn off these servers. So we'll talk more about these servers and uh, I have a video, short video, which will describe a lot of things about how the operations of server work, what are the uh, models of data center or server servers uh, hierarchy for large operations and what is the hierarchy of server for small operations, it all uh, depending upon the necessity we have. So that's it from me today. If you like the video, please, as I always say, like the video, share the video, and leave comments. We need comments because we want to improve our content. And just, you can also uh, uh, comment something as, you want a video on this topic or this technology, and we are ready to do it for you. So guys, it was really nice making this video, and I hope I see you next time in the next video. Have a nice day. What is a server? It is a centralized machine where multiple computers or clients connect to either over the internet or in a LAN. They connect to a server for a specific service, for example, to retrieve a website, to access data, or email, etc. Now, a server could be a dedicated machine to handle one of these services only where you would have one server dedicated for a website, one server for data storage and one server for email. This model is used by large organizations on the other side. However, most of the companies which are small will not be able to afford. So for them, this model is used. You can set up a server to handle each of these services on the same machine, which is what typically happens in smaller organizations. A server is actually a role that a computer takes because any ordinary desktop computer can be set up as a server and it does not necessarily have to be a powerful computer. You can set up your computer as a file server wherein you can store the files and make it a centralized location for all the other computers to access that information. Or you can create a website and make your own desktop as a server which will host the request from the people who are accessing the website. Or but then there is a challenge here because desktop computers are not designed to handle large workload so they might crash and that will halt the operation or task which you're doing so that's why we use certain computers with certain memory and processors which are powerful enough are also known as servers to handle these tasks